Hey guys, so it's been a little bit of a while since I've done a casual mental health update video. Um, I used to do these all the time, but to be honest with you, I, for the most part, winter has been pretty smooth sailing for me. Usually I'd be dealing with seasonal affective disorder pretty badly and really feeling that lack of sunlight and the dark and the cold and everything, but First of all, this winter in Canada has actually been pretty mild. We had a pretty bad week very recently where it got down to like minus 40 degrees Celsius with the wind chill, which was really rough. But most of the winter has been mild. Um, there's been some sunny days. It hasn't been too rough at all. And aside from that, I've just been taking really good care of myself and exercising a lot, watching what I'm eating, trying to sleep properly, and just doing everything in my power to take care of myself, take the proper supplements that I knew I'd be missing, like vitamin D and vitamin B12, because I've been eating very plant-based and um, not that many animal products. So yeah, I have... Um, I've been taking good care of that, so I want to talk a little bit more about the highly sensitive person and an experience I had recently with that, because that is something that I will continually experience. It's not something that I always think about, but as depression in my life kind of comes and goes depending on seasonal things or, you know, it's more conditional these days, I'd say. Um, same thing with anxiety. It's more, you know, I'll feel anxiety when I'm talking to someone on the phone about a job or if I'm kind of doing those things that are outside of my comfort zone, for sure. But the highly sensitive person thing is all the time. It just, I don't always think about it. But recently I had a little bit of a panicky experience. So I wanted to relay that with you guys a little bit. Um, just to explain what I go through and maybe some of you guys can relate. So recently I went on a Valentine's date with my fiance. We always go either the week before Valentine's Day or after to do our thing because we don't like going out in like the big crowds and the, you know, everything's booked on Valentine's Day. It doesn't have to be like the day for us. We always find a way to celebrate it. So we went to see um, The Revenant, if I'm pronouncing that right. My brother was scolding my mom for pronouncing it wrong the other day, so I'm not sure. But anyways, the movie with Leonardo DiCaprio and all that, and it was excellent. I honestly love that movie so much but it's a very intense movie um i'm not going to give any spoilers but it just very like at there's a lot of atmosphere to it there's a lot of like intense moments and suspense and things like that i mean just the setting of it being outside for the whole movie it just has this whole feel to it and it's very powerful so that movie just completely heightened all my senses it's a very emotional movie too so i am actually the type of person in a theater that I will lean on Costa when it's getting kind of noisy, the movie, and I'll kind of like block my ears out when I know there's going to be something jumping out or something going on. I'm very sensitive to those noises, so I kind of block them out physically as much as I can or close my eyes temporarily. But just this whole atmosphere of the movie we just left, like, it was just so like much noise and things going on and stuff happening and, you know, build up and all that. So it really without me even realizing, the movie really got to me in that way. So after the movie was done, um, we had to go catch the metro or the subway, as you guys might know it in other places, and um, we were going to miss it, so Costa just started running for it, and I was running after him, and we both made it on time, and you know, he assured me he was, he was going to wait for me and everything, we're going to make it on together, but for some reason, that just running to it and, and everything, it just, I just felt overwhelmed. And I started tearing up and I didn't have a full out like breakdown or anything like that. Um, I mean, you know, it kind of goes with social anxiety as well. I'm not the type of person that can just openly cry in public. I'd feel just mortified. I, I would feel really, really uncomfortable and I'd rather kind of hold it in. But my eyes were tearing up really badly and I was kind of hiding away, leaning into him and everything. And I just couldn't figure out what the heck was going on. And I realized I was just so oversensitized. Um, and overstimulated from the whole movie experience that just that last little bit of like panic and running to catch it was enough to set me just off. And that's crazy to think that. It's just so weird to know that that's something that I deal with and I couldn't figure out why I was having a mini like anxiety attack. But really it was just because of that overstimulation and that over sensory experience of just everything from the film. And I've noticed this has happened to me before when I've had a day where I'm really tuned into something and all my energy is going into my senses and then something else happens after that fact, it will just kind of over sensitize me and I will react badly in that situation or you not not in like a normal way let's say that other people would react so I thought that was very interesting and I couldn't calm myself down and it was so funny because 
during that moment, you know, Costa noticed that I was really not doing well. And so he was looking at me and he was making eye contact with me and trying to calm me down and everything. And then just the fact that he was putting so much into making me feel better and to help me through this, that made me tear up even more. And then I got overly emotional, you know, it was just, it was this whole combination. But when we left that stressful environment and we were just walking back home the rest of the way, I calmed down completely. And then that anxiety and that built up, pent up, you know, emotion I had just dissipated completely because I kept thinking like you know just get out of like the public transit you know get home um when you're walking home you can cry as much as you want you can let it all out but it was just gone that feeling after when I was removed myself from that environment and that feeling so it's just a brief story I wanted to share with you guys today and I wanted to know if there's any other people that can relate to this story or have experienced anything like this if you have anything to share or any facet of this story you can relate to please comment down below because it's really nice to know people that you know also share these feelings with me because it's very weird to be just so like tuned into these things that other people aren't you know and there's whole communities that are kind of into these things without realizing it so arbitrary example you know I'm obsessed with the store Lush and with Bath and Body Works but that's because I could sit and smell a candle for like an hour because I like the smell so much like I get so tuned into just like one sensation that it just can be overwhelming sometimes and I just make a bigger de detail about a bit sorry a bigger deal about the details than other people would let's say and you know that's one thing that I've been putting on you know all my job applications is very attentive to detail so which is very true and very organized because I'm the type of person that will just tune into something and then I'm all about that so yeah so I just want to share that little story with you guys today I hope it was interesting for you and I will speak to you precious gems later bye everyone